In this short free CAD video, I'll show you a technique to visualize how your sketch axes are orientated when using attachment modes. We've all been there, attaching a sketch to a face, vertex or edge, then applying offsets in the X, Y or Z direction, but only to find that it doesn't move as expected. I'll explain why this happens and show you a technique so you can display your sketch local axes, making attachment modes much easier to work with. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's have a look how we would do this. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. So in this example, we have our profile, which creates a revolve, but I want to align this sketch with the inside. So the way to do that is to attach the sketch to the original revolve sketch. If I look back to the pocket sketch, we can see the map mode is flat face. And it's on the YZ plane. So if we bring out the YZ plane by looking at the origin, we can see it's upon the YZ plane here. But if I try to move that sketch, look at the attachment offset and the position, note the Z, Y, and X axis. So if I move the Z on the attachment, it's not going to follow this axis. It's going to follow the Z axis of the sketch. Though that doesn't exist, there's only an X and Y for a sketch. So this is a common question because when we change the Z, if you're beginning with FreeCAD, then you expect the sketch to travel this way. But it's actually traveling along the X. Now this is because of the local coordinate system. So the sketch has its own local coordinate system. If I double click that, you can see, let's hide the origin, the red X and the green Y. If we look down at a global coordinate system, the Z runs this way, the X runs this way, and the Y is going this way, so it's out of line. So each element has its own coordinate system. Even when we look back to the origin, that's come out of the sketch. This is the coordinate system, local coordinate system of the body. If I took that body and right click and transformed it, you can see the origin moving, but look at our global coordinate system. It's not in line anymore. Let's cancel that. So how can we keep track of this more visually? Well, there is a simple datum object we can use. So let's hide the origin. If I select this sketch and look up to the toolbar, we see we've got the datum objects here. If I drop this down, I have something called create a local coordinate system. My sketch is selected and I can select that and it's attached to the sketch. It's attached by the objects X, Y, and Z. We can see it there. So now what we've got is a visual representation of the local coordinate system of that sketch. If I double click the sketch, you can see where the sketch is positioned. The X runs this way, the Y this way, and the origin of the sketch is here. And you can see the same with this one. So now we know that the Z axis runs this way. Now, the other thing we have to get to grips with is the coloring. And if you're used to the RGB representation of red, green, blue in that order, so RGB for LEDs, monitors, electronics, etc then that runs in the same order as X, Y, Z. So red, green, blue, X, Y, Z. So we've got red, X, green, Y, and blue, Z. So now with this local coordinate system, we can remove this at any point or even hide it. When we're doing tricky attachment, this can be a bit of a lifesaver. 
So let's look at changing the attachment mode using this sketch. So we take the sketch, add the LCS, make sure it's X, Y, Z, and hit OK. Now we can look at the sketch and come down to the map mode and select the map mode. Notice the LCS has disappeared. So let's just click on it and show it. So let's go back to the sketch now and attach it by selecting the first reference. And I'm going to select this point in here, this vertex. We can refresh so the LCS follows if we wanted to. The next reference, I'm going to select this one. So now we're looking at the alignment here. So I've selected two in here and I can pick origin normal, origin X, origin Y. Two references, so I only need these two. So from here, I know this is my Z, which is the normal, because sketches only have the X and the Y. So the origin sits here, and this is pointing normal. So now I want the Y lined with this line. So we'll come down and choose a line origin, our first one, and then Y, our next. There's some offset in the Z direction of 12. So it's going this way, which is now actually going this way, as you can see here, after refresh, and I can set this to zero. So now our LCS or our local coordinate system has helped us align this sketch to where we want it. Let's hit OK, and then we can create our operation as we see fit. So there's a way of using that datum object, the LCS, and also the acronym for red, green, blue, X, Y, Z, to help you with those advanced attachment modes. Just remember that you can clutter up your view with these LCS, so it might be worth just deleting them once you finish using them. Hope you enjoyed that tip, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.